You think the Republican Party has strife? President Donald Trump says it's a love fest and the GOP is united. This is Pentagon officials prepare to brief two committees on the Niger investigation. Nikki Batiste has the latest from New York. Three weeks after an ambush in Niger killed four American soldiers, questions linger about how the men came under attack and when Sergeant LaDavid Johnson, an Army mechanic, got separated from 11 other U.S. troops during the firefight. We now know the Pentagon deployed elite commandos to search for LaDavid, who was found two days later. Yesterday, President Trump addressed whether or not he authorized the mission. No, I didn't. Not specifically. I gave them authority to do what's right so that we win. That's the authority they have. The president's comments came as he left the White House and dismissed any Republican infighting. We have actually great unity in the Republican Party. For days, the president has been sparring with Senate Republicans Jeff Flake and Bob Corker. Both have criticized Mr. Trump's leadership and behavior. Republican Charlie Dent commended the two for speaking out. I think it's important that members of Congress speak up and call out the president from time to time if he says things that are inappropriate. But other senators want to move on, including Senator Ted Cruz. He compared the brawl to middle school in a radio interview. I really don't care who passed a note to the cute girls in pigtails. Everyone shut up and do your job, is, is, is my view. Asked by one reporter if he should be more civil, President Trump punched back, touting his own intelligence, noting he attended an Ivy League school and did well academically. Nikki Batiste, CBS News. Later today, President Trump is expected to deliver a major speech outlining his administration's policy on fighting the opioid crisis.